Hello and welcome to the awesome tutorials. My name is June Loiza and today I'm going to show you how to install your WordPress blog on your Bluehost account. We highly recommend using Bluehost because of its ease of use and excellent customer service. So right now we're on the awesome Virology page. Uh, we built this on WordPress and I'm going to show you how to do that right now on your own domain name. So let's go to the right and click on the Bluehost affiliate link. Yes guys, we do need to pay the bills and we would greatly appreciate it if you sign up for Bluehost using our site. Um, it allows us to build you better and better to video tutorials. So go to the sign up now section and enter the domain name you want. I'm going to register blogsandbirds.com and then I would click next and then go through the whole sign up process. I actually already have the domain name so let's go ahead and sign into our control panel. Cool. So here we are. Go ahead and sign into your control panel. Okay guys, here we are on the control panel. The first thing we need to do is get our domain name as a, and place it as an add-on domain. So right here under domains, go to add-on domains and select your domain name. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose blogs and birds. You can choose add-on domain or park domain. We're going to choose add-on domain. And here in the bottom, uh, you should just leave it on default because it'll, it'll do it all on its own. And then just click add domain. Okay, now that we've assigned it as an add-on domain, let's scroll to the bottom and go under software and services, click on simple scripts. I do have a lot of WordPress installations as you can see. Scroll to the bottom left and under blogs, click on WordPress. And go to install now. By default you're going to install the most recent version of WordPress and under where would you like uh, WordPress installed, let's go and find our domain name. blogsandbirds.com and I recommend doing a slash blog because therefore you're going to assign it to the blogsandbirds.com slash blog and it leaves you open to use your main domain name for, for anything else that you may want to use it for, not necessarily a blog. Uh, give it a title name, blogs and birds, and yes, yes, complete. And you're done. Wasn't that easy? So let's go ahead and check out the blog. And here it is, Blogs and Birds, just another WordPress web log. It's a beautiful thing, guys. And here is your admin URL, your admin and your password. Go ahead and create your own username and password because you're never going to forget, remember this one. Uh, there's one more thing that we need to do, guys. So as you can see, the domain name up here, it says blogsandbirds.com slash blog. Let's see what happens when we just go to blogsandbirds.com. Okay, um, it doesn't lead you to the blog. It, you can't click right here and go to the blog, but we do want to go straight to it. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go back to our WordPress panel. So back here in our panel, we're going to redirect the domain name to the slash blog. So right here under domains, let's go to redirects. And we're going to go find our domain name, blogsandbirds.com. And we're going to have it redirect to blogsandbirds.com slash blog and make sure this one is clicked to redirect with or without www and click add. Okay, now that we have that set up, let's go to blogsandbirds.com without the backslash blog and there you go, blogsandbirds.com. So you're all set up. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me or comment me or tweet me at any time and I'll go ahead and help you set it up. Thanks guys and remember if you use the Bluehost uh, affiliate link that we have. It'll definitely help us give you better tutorials. Thank you so much.